Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a a, a re-review, although I, I'm a little bit hesitant to call it a re-review. Um, but um, I reviewed a few months ago the Leonardo Afficina uh, Momentor Zero pens, and I reviewed on two different videos the, um, the the two resin pens, the the blue resin or the Positano, and the the blackish grey uh, resin, which which is called the Horn. And if you haven't watched these videos already, please go and watch them now. Uh, and come back to this video. I'll put a link uh, in the description for both of these videos so you can see them. Um, I really, really do love these pens. They are, the resin in the pens are absolutely stunning material. Uh, I think um, Leonardo Officina did a really, really good job on these pens, um, but there was one issue or one elephant in the room that that I did have with these pens and it's a problem that many of us uh, actually have with a lot of pens that we buy and that problem is that the pens look gorgeous I love the shape I love the design I love the material but they didn't write as well as I had hoped and the reason for that is that uh, I got two broad nibs and they came with um, baby's bottom on them but it was actually quite a severe baby's bottom and um, I've uh, uh, been in contact with Salvatore uh, who is the CEO and co-founder of Leonardo Officina. There have been other reviewers like myself that have had issues with some of the nibs. Salvatore says that uh, he uh, has investigated the issue uh, and addressed the issue and, and has now rectified the issue. The problem was on some of the um, uh, nibs that were being used uh, that were broad nibs and stub nibs. Now, I think I've heard also that there were a few medium nibs that, that have had some hard starts or skipping going on. Um, I'm not sure if they've had baby's bottom. I only have experience with the broad nibs here. I purchased both of these pens from Fontaplumo and uh, out of my own money. So these weren't review samples when I reviewed the pens initially. Um, and they are still my pens. I haven't received any uh, monetary compensation for these pens. All of the pens that I have reviewed so far on my channel have all been my own pens that I have paid my money for. Um, so, obviously, if you get a pen that you really love and it doesn't write as as well as you would have hoped, then it does become a bit of a disappointment. So, I was really glad that Salvatore reached out uh, and said that that yes he is aware that there was a problem there with with uh, a small selection of the broad and stub nibs uh, and they have now uh, been rectified and he wanted to send me a couple of uh, replacement nibs uh, and I could test them again and I said that I'm happy to not only test them but to re-review them as well um, so that's what I'm doing here today so there's a number of things that that, that could be done like these these nibs here um, have actually been sent to me by Salvatore and these are, uh, he's machined some replacement sections for my pens. So these nibs are actually um, uh, friction fit into the uh, nib uh, housing unit within the section here of, of the pen and that unit is actually glued into place. So um, Salvatore could have just sent out replacement nibs and I could have pulled these out um, they are very in very very tight um, so there is a, a chance that you could damage the feed or damage the nib when pulling them out or you could take the safer option which would be to basically send out a new section which is what Salvatore has done so I'm really glad that he actually did that because there's less risk in damaging the nibs um, and making the pens unusable at that point so uh, a lot of you may not know what baby's bottom is so I, I think probably the best thing I can do is to try and describe uh, what baby's bottom is and how it affects the writing experience 
So, um, if you take my uh, fingers here, like if, if, if you think that these fingers, two index fingers here, are effectively um, the t two tines of the nib and the, the slit running down the center of these is effectively the, the nib slit. So, a, a normal nib should um, be closer at the tip and you'll see there between the two fingertips uh, on my fingers there is a slight sort of crevice there now the ink will run down between the two tines to that very small crevice and that crevice shouldn't be big enough um, uh, or, or large or too large i, I should say um, that the ink can't then reach the paper so that little crevice there between the two tines should be quite small um, what tends to happen on baby's bottom is you get this sort of thing happening. So you can see the difference between this and this, where that crevice there at the tip of the times becomes so much larger. And the problem is when that becomes larger, you actually get to the point where the ink flowing down between the, the two tines on that nib slit cannot then reach the paper to then be absorbed into the paper. So the net result on this is effectively you get a lot of hard starts so uh, if you start to write and you do a downstroke uh, and you've just uncapped your pen it won't write ink onto the page and then you do maybe two or three line vertical lines down and then suddenly the ink starts flowing you get to the end of the word the, the word that you're writing and you start a new word and then it hard starts again sometimes it can happen mid word um, sometimes it, if it's not a severe baby's bottom, it might only happen maybe once every 10 words or once a paragraph, um, but it will happen. Uh, and you can also get issues with skipping as well, um, especially in other directions where you won't get the ink because the ink is not able to get down onto the page. So with baby's bottom, that is the cause and, and, and what actually happens. Now... As I, as I mentioned, um, Salvatore, who's the CEO, sent me some replacement nibs and uh, he said that he's fixed these issues and I take Salvatore on his word. Um, I do put a lot of trust into Salvatore and uh, 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 his pen making, uh, uh, he's been in the pen making business for uh, a number of uh, decades now uh, with his father, um, previously working at Delta. Um, and uh, now also they're making pens for Armando Simone Club, um, the, the Arco pens. So uh, he does have a lot of experience uh, when it comes down to, to pens and, and making them right. So um, I'm really glad that, that Salvatore has uh, not only addressed the issue or understood the issue, addressed the issue, but also rectified or fixed the issue moving forward. So... I just wanted to to show you now these are the old nibs uh, here um, I've already put the, the new nibs into the pens so um, these are the old nibs and uh, I just wanted to show you really that, that that's how they came um, uh, in the sections so all I had to do was basically just screw the nibs into place and I, I will show you here that like, you can literally if I take obviously you take the converter off and then you, all you do is you just screw uh this was the old nib but basically you just screw it back into place so nice easy fix uh and i really really do like um the the new sections were created now obviously the pattern might be slightly different here or slightly different color there is that um that that may happen but um I, I really find that that sort of um, th this sort of way of doing it is is so much easier for the end user um, and as I understand it uh, there are replacement nibs available from retailers so so you can buy replacement nibs I think they the some of the retailers will just give you a replacement nib not an entire section so if you want a replacement nib for a Leonardo a Ficina, pen uh, check with the retailer first uh, to find if it is a, a, a section uh, the nib in and the feed in the section or if it's just a nib 
on its own. Um, likewise, you can always reach out to uh, Salvatore, um, uh, who is the CEO um, and co-founder of Leonardo Ufficina, and uh, I'm sure he will be able to help as well. Likewise, if you have any issues with uh, any of the broad or stub nibs that do have um, some severe baby's bottom on, I'd suggest contacting the retailer first, in the first instance, and then maybe uh, contacting Salvatore if you don't have any luck there. So I think with that, I just really want to, to just go through and just show you how these pens write. So this is the Leonardo... Officina and this is the Momentero Zero and it's a post Postino. Um, so that these are broad nibs. Uh, now if I show you here you can pretty much see that there are no hard starts going on whatsoever on this nib. So that is pretty good. Um, so, and then in terms of the figure of eights, tend to be uh, something that that will check all nib angles, and that's why we like to do figure of eights. So you can see there that that nib now is absolutely perfect. And then I'll try the horn one, and again, this is another board. So uh, let's do Leonardo Officina. Momentero, Momento Zero, and again, it's a broad nib, and then we'll do downstrokes here just to see that how these nibs are performing. You see, I'm I'm taking a bit of a gap between just to see, but as you can see, absolutely no problem with these nibs whatsoever. So this really is um, what I would call a very, very good nib. Um, and not just one good nib, but, but two good nibs here. So personally, I think um, Salvatore has fixed this issue. Um, and I'm really glad that, that he has listened and... Um, has supplied some some replacement nibs that that not only don't have baby's bottom on them at all but right exquisitely well and and these bearing in mind these are still nibs so they are cheap nibs um or cheaper nibs compared to say gold or palladium nibs um but these nibs uh the replacement nibs write really really well so for me now these these two pens are really um, going to be, I think, probably some of my workhorse pens because these pens. Not only do I love the patterns on these, but and I adore the patterns, the resin, like these swirls here on on the pen. It's for a resin pen. It's that they are beautiful pens, but now they write really well. So. For me, um, this has addressed the issue, um, and these will not be the last um, Leonardo pens that, that I purchased. Now, I have purchased Arcos from ASC pens that were made by Salvatore and his father uh, at Leonardo Arficina um, under contract with ASC pens. Uh, but these are, at the moment, the only two Leonardo Arficina official pens that I have. Um, but they will not be the last pens for sure because now that I, I know that, that Salvatore has not only listened but has been able to rectify the issue and, and the issue wasn't with their workmanship it was with the nib provider um, and we all want our, our pens and nibs to write ex ex exquisitely well out of the box and a lot of them don't um, but when you get a manufacturer of a pen that is willing to listen and willing to to investigate, address the issue and rectify the issue um, at their cost as well, 
then I I think really um, that is where a good um, fountain pen manufacturer comes in uh, because there are so many companies out there that would not do that. Um, so uh, I'd love to to thank Salvatore once more um, for listening to the issues that myself and other reviewers have had um, with a, a with with I think what is a small batch of nibs, um, and hopefully these are now rectified moving forward. Uh, if you do hit into any problems, contact the retailer first, Salvatore second. Um, but uh, I, I'm confident that that uh, newer pens that, that I buy from Leonardo Officina um, won't have that issue. Um, and I really do love these pens. So, so these are now going to become uh, everyday carries for me. Um, I, I love how the nibs write i love how wet they are how broad they are um being a broad nib they they do write quite broad so uh, for me these pens are are really really gorgeous pens and now write well as well so there you go uh, i did say i didn't really want to do a full re-review uh, of the pens and uh i've really just spoken more about the baby's bottom issue um but i hope um that sort of goes some way to uh, allaying any fears that anybody has in buying Leonardo pens because these pens really are are gorgeous pens. I think the workmanship on these pens are absolutely stunning, um, and uh, I, uh, as I said, um, uh, these pens were purchased by me. They weren't sent as uh, loan or review units, so. Um, so, so that now that these issues have been addressed, I am definitely more happy to buy more Leonardo pens. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye. <laughs>